Hey everybody, happy Friday. Um, we're just gonna take a second to show you uh, the new machine and show you how things are going. So, um, get you look around here. So, reading code. There's the little Ever Focus. Cruiser like that. So it is coming the second side of the machinery thing. Um, on the right side vise, um, that's where they cut the first side. Oh, let's see, I'll turn it off. So we uh, pause for a second. So the first side is cut right here. Um, I'm only running the second side right now. This is about halfway through the program. Um, so yeah. That's where they're cut, and then I'll show you. Let me get you on the tripod here. All right, I got you on the tripod now. So, um, yeah. So the when I was showing you a minute ago, where the vise was on the right. So this is what it looks like when it comes off of the vise on the right. And so this is done the entire um, front side. Then uh, it's flipped over and put onto the fixture plate on the side that it was cutting on just a second ago. And uh, then the other side is finished out. And when it's finished out, it looks like this. And this, of course, is still the prototype. And there's a couple of little chatter places and stuff like that that, uh, that will be not be present on the um, production model. Just because of fixturing, I've got a little bit of slop in my fixture plate, uh, which will, uh, that'll all straighten up in the end. So, yeah, uh, that's. Uh, that's what she looks like. I'll try to get it a little closer. If it'll focus that close, it won't. But that's okay. Let me try to zoom. It may help. Yeah, there we go. Give you a good shot there. The way it looks. And again, there's little places here and there that still aren't 100% dialed in. Um, but they will be dialed in on the production model. This was the first prototype. The actual, this is not a, it wasn't a final. I only stamped the finals um, that with a you know, the, the design that I was comfortable with. These had too high of a ridge or too steep of a chamfer here, and that led to having points on the ends. Um, and those dug into the fingers, so that was not cool at all. And you can see the difference in that one and this one with no point. Very, very smooth, no hot spots. Um, let's see, I've got some with bearings installed here, so that's one of the, let's see, that's the old one. I got one in my, in my pocket. Uh, where is it? There it is. Check out the pouch. Got that yesterday from uh, Elky Pose, Cut Punch So, try them out, they're pretty awesome. I'm thinking about buying some and including them with some custom work, uh, some, some like auctions and stuff like that, so that's what it would look like with buttons. I've just got some mixed match buttons on there right now. This is mine, I'm keeping it, you can't have prototype one until it spins very well. So. These are coming off the machine balance very nicely. So that's the machine finish. Uh, here is the blasted finish. And again, I just have some mix match buttons that I had finished earlier. And the blasted with the contrast of the brushed finish on the buttons, I think I dropped these so they're kind of scarred up. But um, I don't keep any of the good stuff. If anything is good, I sell it. I can't afford to keep the good stuff. <laughs> so that's the blasted finish. It's very, very smooth. Very smooth, no hot spots. Again, spins very nicely right off the machine. And then throw that one down. Here is the brushed finish. There's a little bit of patina setting in on that, but you can tell that it's a very nice satin brush also very smooth um, 
there's some, I'll point out some places, there's some chatter, tool chatter, along that edge, if I catch the light just right, yeah, uh, and then there's some on this edge, which that's all very predictable, it's just um, from the setup that I'm using, uh, which is all going to be remachined um, and more rigid. I uh, had to order special tools to, to machine the fixture in place. So, you got an awesome spin. Very stable. Some spin with things. Uh, the originals had a little bit of flutter to them. I've not picked one of these up that have any flutter yet. And if they do have flutter, I'll probably either attempt to balance them or I'll probably just actually more likely just kind of throw them out or not throw them out but you know scrap them they can go to the scrap yard so but yeah i'll at least try to fix them first but, all right